This is Tomorrow Pictures dot TV. Tomorrow Pictures. Information, not your name. After more than four days in flight getting out to the moon, Apollo 11 was ready for the moon landing. A little spaceship that it carried that was to land on the moon had never, of course, been tested in the weightless environment. Nobody knew whether it was going to work. This was really the moment of truth. Manual out of good control is good. We're go, same time, we're go. 2,000 feet, 2,000 feet. Into the egg, 47 degrees, Roger. We at uh, CBS had, had uh, cameras all over the world waiting to record people's reaction to the success or that possible failure of the mission. About 1,200 feet per second. You're looking great, Disneyland in California. Small television sets are now becoming commonplace at bases in Vietnam, no matter how remote. And the GIs have been following Apollo just as they would in the United States. At 2.47 in the afternoon, Mr. Pease Ellington had decided to spend the rest of his day watching Walter Cronkite. People from all walks of life, all corners of the world, had come together to watch that historic moment. There was much to thank God for, and I prayed for the men going to the moon too. Now, we didn't have any images of this part of the flight, that is, the actual landing of the limb. So, with NASA's help, our CBS animators very cleverly had created a whole film that showed second by second exactly what was happening in that lunar module as it touched down. At the precise moment as the module approached the moon, we began running that animation. We knew that the final thing that was going to happen would be that this green light by the door would go on, indicating touchdown. It was just one little problem we had there. Neither the NASA engineers who to help us with that animation, nor anybody else at NASA, including the astronauts on the way down to the moon, had expected that cloud of dust that their rockets raised. They knew there could be some, but not so much that they really couldn't see through it. It was really a life-threatening matter in the module. Armstrong couldn't see where he was going, but he had to do some maneuvering. With that landing fuel almost gone, he, he made that command decision. He just had to move sideways to get out of the dust storm. Well, our animation, you see, was still running while he was making that decision, spending a few extra seconds to move the limb. Well, suddenly the arrival lights go on in our animated module. The limb is down, according to CBS. Millions of people, I suppose, around the world now are cheering the successful landing of the limb. But that was our animation. Actually, on the moon, Armstrong's still 50 feet up, and he's in big trouble. It took him 40 more seconds with his fuel running out to get down on the surface. And most of us, well, we choose not to remember how CBS News landed on the moon nearly 40 seconds before Neil Armstrong. Down two and a half. Uh, I'd, I'd had as long as NASA to prepare for that landing, and I'd 
thought of a lot of fine words that I could say, appropriate for the momentous nature of this occasion itself, words that would live in history. And then the landing took place, and what did this great CBS commentator say? Boy. <laughs> okay, we're going to be busy for a minute. Mm. I was speechless. I, I was speechless, and again, it's one of those events that uh, maybe I'd like to play it differently, but I'm not so sure I would. It was that kind of a moment, a speechless moment for all mankind. The astronaut's journey, of course, was not over. What would happen when man opened that door, opened that door, stepped down, and actually stood on the surface of the moon? Okay, Houston, I'm on the porch. Roger, Neil. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. I'm going to step off the lamina. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Armstrong is on the moon, 38-year-old American, standing on the surface of the moon on this July 20th, 1969. This is TomorrowPictures.tv. Oh, shut up. This is my interview, uh, rolling. Yankee. We are rolling GXP. What, friend? He was asking me a, a question. He, he asked me, was the camera rolling? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's quite all right. <laughs> yeah. Quite all right. I'm new at this. What's the, <laughs> what, what's the purpose of life? The purpose of life to stay alive. You are watching TomorrowPictures.tv. Tomorrow Pictures. The story is in the telling. <laughs>